Welcome to New York State Promise, Emerging Voices. Today's topic is building relationships between Promise staff and families while ensuring Promise services are delivered in a timely manner. It's a late summer Wednesday morning here at the Queens Museum. A group of Promise families from New York City is touring the exhibits, which include a rare collection of Tiffany lamps. I liked how we saw the lamps because that's a piece of art. Uh, it was different ones. It was not all the same one. It's nice. That's Ajene. The Tiffany is of particular interest to her because she has a passion for art. I want to go to culinary art school for like college and stuff. So I want to put like things together like and maybe like cook stuff. I like fashion to put clothes together. Ajene's mom, Shanae, also took the tour. She believes Promise can help provide her daughter with valuable opportunities. She's definitely interested in internships because she has a lot of different interests, so I think that internships would allow her to see what area she will excel in. After the Tiffany Lamps exhibit, the group proceeded to a spectacular panorama of New York City. Every building, every borough, in a miniature scale. Patrick, a Promise student, and his mom enjoyed the view. Yeah, it was great. Larry Carrington is Patrick's community case manager. He remembers when he first met Patrick and his mom. Patrick is a very outgoing, kind of talkative guy. So, um, you know, when I was there asking questions, he was answering. Uh, we talked about summer youth. We talked about um, his school. We spoke about Access VR. Leary knows that Promise families have a busy schedule, so he and Patrick's mom decided to do their quarterly check-in meeting after the museum tour. Today, uh, with this meeting, I also called in to Access VR. A letter is going to be mailed to his house, or to Patrick's house, um, for the orientation. I told mom to let me know of the date when she gets the letter so that I can actually accompany them. With Access VR through the Promise program, it affords for the students to sign up at age 17. With that, they get services uh, in terms of assisting them in learning job skills. Uh, they get the um, opportunity to access funds that will enable them, if they choose to go to college, to pay for to, uh, books, to pay for transportation. Patrick is interested in getting involved into the workforce. Maybe work at the supermarket if they do, if they, if they do hire, hire, hire me. Back with Ajene and her mom, the two are excited about the future. As a child with a disability, sometimes I know children, they feel like they can't do something or they're different from others or whatever, and I just want her to know that she can do whatever she wants, whatever she sets her mind to. The New York State Promise Project produced this video under a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Department of Education.